Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Hope you had a nice weekend. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. This is Drew Burgoyne, and you are watching our CBS 58 Quick Cast. Now, Drew, of course, weather looking like uh, things are changing. Snow is coming, right? Get the shovels ready, maybe even the uh, plows, or not that much? Yeah, I mean, it could be slushy, and we're okay. talking several inches of snow, at least the potential west of the lake. Tonight, you're fine for any errands. You notice some snow out there. A lot of that is not reaching the ground. We don't have any winter weather advisories at this point. Let's talk about our winter impacts tomorrow morning for the commute throughout the day into Wednesday morning. Uh, notice between 3 o'clock in the morning and about 6 to 7 a.m. We'll start to see that snow, especially west of the lakefront. Right along the lake, all throughout the day, we'll toggle between snow and rain, depending on that east wind. Slushy roads are expected, especially away from the lake. Uh, and bottom line, uh, not a lot of accumulation along the lakefront out of this event. But most areas will pick up a couple of inches of snow, maybe up to four inches in some of the isolated totals. The further west you go, this will wrap up uh, Wednesday afternoon. Getting those shovels all dusted off. Thank you, Drew. Tomorrow, the sentencing for Daryl Brooks. For a lot of people, it will bring relief after the Waukesha Christmas Parade attack. Some of those people finding relief, the iconic dancing grannies. The grannies say they will continue to do what they do best in honor of their community and their falling dancing teammates. They are scheduled to be in nine different Christmas parades this holiday season. An empty lot in Milwaukee is soon to become a historic landmark. The lot was once filled with safe spaces for members of the LGBTQ community back in the 60s. A marker will be placed in the spot where Black Knight Tavern used to stand and where the first recorded U.S. LGBTQ uprising took place. Members say this marker will be a win for everyone. Today, AT&T in the city of Milwaukee announcing a grant that will address the digital challenges for young people throughout the city. The grant totals $50,000. The money will be split evenly between the Greater Milwaukee Urban League and the Hmong American Friendship Association. The city says the money will support educational programs aimed at digital literacy. Well, it is that time of year again. The holiday season is well on its way and the Pabst Mansion is gearing up for Christmas. Check it out. The mansion all decorated now and will kick off its annual celebration tours starting Thursday. This year, there's a nutcracker room, a room full of colors and candy, and then others filled with your traditional garland and snow. Well, the World Cup kicks off this weekend. Such exciting times for uh, soccer or football fans all over the world. Daniela Cotto now joining me with some of the stuff you need to know before Sunday. Daniela. That's exactly right. Such an exciting yes. time for us soccer fans. Well, there's 32 teams, 64 matches, 29 days. This is the first World Cup in the Middle East. And given the weather as it normally takes place in the summer months, of course, it's that time of the year over there in Qatar. There's a total of eight groups of four, and all matches will take place beginning at 4 a.m., another at 7, 10 a.m., and 1 p.m. Central Time. It kicks off this Sunday, November 20th, until December 18. You can watch all games live on our sister station, Telemundo, as they have the exclusive rights in Spanish. So excited. I take it you uh, are rooting for Argentina yes, a little bit. Argentina, yeah? Yeah? Mexico, okay. USA, a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's going to be fun, fun yeah, stuff. Daniela, fun. thank you so much. Thank you. All right, dozens of fans celebrating Sunday night at Left's Lucky Town in Wauwatosa for or our kind of football, if you will, football Americano. The Packers in a thrilling victory over the Dallas Cowboys. We welcome in Kevin Holden for some highlights from that game. Kevin, a little more hope and uh, happiness in title town now, right? And well, and Joseph, here's the thing. The Packers have a number one receiver. Yes, kind of came out of nowhere. Well, not out of nowhere, but for the first time, leaped onto the scene, if you will. Right. Yeah. Christian Watson with three touchdown yes. catches. Yeah. So you add that to Aaron Jones in the rushing sure. yards and Mason Crosby, who's King Clutch. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the Packers feel like they used to feel. Now they've got a tough one here Thursday against the Titans. Sure. Uh, but beating Mike McCarthy, beating the Cowboys, nice little start. Yeah, definitely. McCarthy, how did you get any sense of how he was after the game? Was he uh, kind of taking on? Was he obviously not happy? But uh, what was his emotion like? Any any talk about the locker room there? He so his phrase was "I'm humble pied out," <laughs> which was his way of saying enough, right? Okay. He was like he, three or four days of dealing with Green Bay. He was sure. done. Awesome. Kevin, thank you so much. You got it. Coming up tonight on the CBS 58 News at 9 and 10, we learn about impact statements and how they may affect tomorrow's sentencing for Daryl Brooks, plus how legislatures are confident that same-sex marriage will be codified. We will see you tonight, but for now, that is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. We appreciate you watching.